So in this video, we are going to set up the shipping and tax settings. So we are back in the settings main area. So you can see that by clicking on this bottom left settings link. And we're going to first click into shipping. So once we click in here, So you can see I'm getting an error message because I don't have some of my information set up that you would have set in whenever you first set up your general settings page. However, if you're setting that up already in the general settings, you'll only really see this valid credit card needing to put that in. Uh, don't worry about that yet. You can always add in that valid credit card whenever we go to launch the site. Um, and that'll be necessary whenever you choose your Shopify payment plan. So this first area is your shipping origin. So this is going to be the address that you're actually shipping your package from. So if you're using a drop shipper or you're shipping from a secondary office location, then you'll put in that shipping address here uh, and that'll be used to actually calculate your shipping rates. So to do that, uh, you will just go in here and hit edit address. And then you'll see that it pops up a window so that you can add in and edit your shipping address if it's different from your store address. And then we have down here the different zones and rates. So this is automatically set up whenever you first set up your store with USPS, which is what a lot of people use with Shopify. So this is automatically calculating that rate in from USPS. However, you can also add in different rates for different parts of the world as well as flat rates. So to do that, we'll first go into this United States and hit edit. So let's say first we want this to be um, domestic or we can say the continental US. So you can first go in and actually edit the states that you want to be included in that by hitting this edit button. And we can go in here and let's take out American Somalia. Uh, let's see, Micronesia. They have all the list of the states here so you can scroll through. Let's see if I can see another one, Puerto Rico. We'll take that off and we'll hit done. So now you can see that it's this is only for 59 of the 62 states now. You can also add in a price-based rate or a weight-based rate and you can see here the calculated shipping that is uh, being pulled in from USPS. So the price-based rate to set that up you would hit add rate. So this would be your you know shipping if you wanted to do anything under let's say $50 is a certain amount. We would just do standard shipping. And minimum order price would be zero. Maximum order price would be 50. And then you would have your rate. So let's say that's $7, anything under $50. So then we'll hit done. And you can see the standard shipping rate being added in now. So let's say we wanted to do anything over $50 is going to be free shipping. So we'll do add rate and we'll put this in as free shipping now. And so the minimum order price, it would need to be $51 if you wanted to do over, or we'll do $50 and one cent since you want it to be over $50 and we'll set no limit since anything over 50 is gonna be free shipping. And this time, instead of hitting a rate amount, you'll just hit this free shipping rate and hit done. So now you can see that we have our standard flat rate shipping as well as free shipping. And the same process would be done as well for your weight-based rate. So if you have all of your weights in your products and you wanna say, you know, if you have a certain amount of weight for your package, it is a certain price, you would go in with the same functionality as the price and hit edit rate, and you would then do your minimum order weight and max order weight. So this is really helpful if you are you know how many items it, it totals to get a certain cart weight, then you can go in and, and put that information in for your shipping. So. And then the last area we don't need to edit in terms of the USPS um, because that's automatically being calculated for you. So once you get that set up, you'll just hit save. 
and we'll go back to the shipping page. And then we'll come in here since we edited one of, or three of the states out. So we will come in and do add shipping zone because we want to make sure that we're covering all of them. If you didn't want to ship to them, then you wouldn't have to add this in. However, we'll put one more United States and we'll put international and we'll do add countries. And since we had gone ahead and edited some of that already, you'll see whenever we start typing in United States, it has three of the 62 states. So it's only gonna let us do the shipping rate for the three that we removed. So we'll hit add. And then we would go through the same process of doing the price, weight, or the calculated. And we'll hit save. So it's giving me this error message just because we don't have one rate in. So let's add one in right now. And we'll just put standard shipping. And we'll do a minimum and max. So we'll say that this, because it's having to send further, it's gonna be $10 and we're not gonna actually offer free shipping with that. So we'll take out this $50 then if we're not gonna do a free shipping rate. And we'll hit done and save. And we'll go back to the shipping area now. So in the other area that you have, so it automatically does rest of the world and it has all 240 countries. So this is automatically gonna be calculating it with USPS. However, let's say if you're in the United States, and you want to ship to Canada or Mexico, it's gonna be a little bit cheaper than shipping to somewhere in Africa, let's say. So we'll hit add shipping zone and we can give them a little bit cheaper prices. So here we will put Canada. We'll go to the countries, add the country. And we have Canada, we'll hit add. And you can go through the same rate of the, the price base weight or calculated. So we'll add in a price base rate and we'll say Canadian shipping. Now this name, the customers will actually see this. So I would make sure that you do something that still is specific so that they can see exactly what they're being charged for in terms of shipping. So we'll just say no price for that. And it's always going to be, you know, $20 we'll say and hit done and save. And then we'll go back to shipping. And you could continue this process for any of the countries that you want to call out specifically. Um, or you could just keep that with rest of the world. The next area is your shipping label. So if you're shipping with USPS, you have the option of doing priority mail. So um, for this, you can set up your label format. So we'll come in here and just do a smaller label. And then since we're gonna do priority mail, let's say with USPS, there's a default package size. However, we can add a smaller package size. So we can go in here and hit add package. And if you know the sizing of your box or your envelope, you can go in and add this in already as well as the weight. It's really important to put the weight in there if you're going to be calculating the shipping price based on weight, just to make sure that that's factored in to your cost. And you can also have the option of doing flat rate packaging. So you can go in and set up your priority mail if you already know the, the specific priority mail size that you're gonna be using with USPS. And there's a lot of different options in here. You also have additional shipping methods in terms of activating Postmates, which is a, a new integration, which is on-demand local delivery. Um, you also can do different carrier providers like DHL, or if you have drop shipping or fulfillment services, you would click into here and sync it up with your drop shipper. However, we're not gonna go into those just because they're a little bit too specific. So we'll go back up here to the settings area and now we're going to edit the taxes. So we'll click in here to taxes. 
And the first setting that you have is to choose if the setting, the tax settings are going to be included in your price or if you're going to charge taxes on shipping. I typically always recommend leaving both of those not checked just because adding the taxes in is a lot easier, especially since you're doing um, you know, different states or countries as well as the charging taxes on shipping. Um, just leaving that how it is automatically. So you can see the tax rates that are available because we've added in different countries. So the Canada, rest of the world, you'll see those added in as well as United States. So you only have to charge taxes for the locate, if you have a location in that state or country. So for example, if let's say you are based in North Carolina, but your fulfillment company is in California, you would need to charge taxes for both North Carolina and California. If you're only in North Carolina though, you only need to charge taxes for there. So to go in and set up the tax rates, it's actually very automatically done for you, but we'll click into United States. And you can see here that it is set up to charge automatically. So I am in the state of Tennessee. So I have Tennessee already being added in because of my address that I put in to my store whenever I was setting that up. So let's say, so this is in one part of Tennessee. So let's say I have a secondary location in another part of Tennessee. We can go in here and we can add that in as well. So we'll hit Tennessee and then I'll put in that zip code and hit add state. So you can see now that I have both of my addresses in Tennessee, they're in different counties. So now in this example, the county taxes are the same. However, in a lot of states, the taxes vary dramatically uh, county to county. So you could actually see whenever you click in here what your different counties are and what the actual rates are for all of those. So there's a little bit of varying of um, 2.75, 2.25. So all of this is calculated for you and you'll go and see that in the reports area of how much you need to be sending out to your local state in terms of sales tax. And the last is the tax overrides. So this would be very beneficial to do if you had a specific um, like let's say a wholesale collection where you don't need to be adding in taxes for wholesalers. So you would go in and add this tax override by choosing your collection. So since we don't have any of that set up yet, um, it's not gonna show anything. However, once we do have collection set up, if you wanted to set up a, a wholesale collection, you can choose to select that wholesale collection here and not charge taxes on any of those wholesale products. And that is it for setting up our shipping and taxes information.